And now for our final demonstration. With this app, we're sending data from the Arduino back to the phone over the mobile network. The app is reading data from all five analogs inputs. In this example, we just have the symbol value between 0 and 1023. And here it is again in more of a graphical form, a circular style. You can also have it as a bar graph and also as a line graph. Now if you like, you can also have a historical line, so we'll just add that now, a history graph, and we'll just zoom in there a bit, and with the history graph, it can show you the readings over a longer period of time, and that's important, because at the moment the blink system doesn't remember your data, it just passes the data between the two devices. I'm sure over time they'll find a way of doing that as a chargeable service. I mean at this point you have to realise the system is still under development. They're doing a pretty good effort so far. And of course we're not paying for it. So that's all we have for Blink.cc today. For more information have a look at blynk.cc and thank you for visiting tronicstuff.com.